So now that I've done my calculations and I've got my um, summary table, um, I want to bring all this information together into a layout. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to symbolize my habitat types because at the moment I'm not using any of the, um, the data that's sitting behind in the attributes to, um, to give me a better picture of what's going on, at least graphically anyway, so I'm going to do that first. So again, I'm going to double click on the actual habitat types um, there and I'm going to go and symbolize it based on categories. So I'm going to choose categories and it's going to be unique values. Um, and I'm going to choose the habitat type field that we created. Um, I don't need to show all values, but what I do want to do, so I'm going to just deselect that for a minute and I'm going to go add all values. And this is going to add all the possible attributes for the habitat type. So there we go. Um, it's, it's showing me the arable improved, so improved, etc. Um, I'm just going to change this heading up here. Um, in fact, I'm going to remove that heading because we, otherwise it will have repetition of what it's already called when we create the, um, the key. So I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to OK that. So there we go. So that's immediately um, <coughs> symbolized based on the attribute types there in that habitat type field inside the, um, the attributes. Um, so I'm going to now flick over to the layout view and I'm going to start building up the rest of the layout. So um, now I've done the statistical work and I've also um, symbolized the, um, the fields here, I'm now going to build up the rest of the layout. So I'm going to flick back over to the layout view down the bottom here. Um, we've got our A4 page set up and we're in reasonably good um, landscape orientation so I'm going to start to add the rest of the things for the layout. Um, first of all I'm going to add a title. So there we go as a title. I'm also going to insert the north line. Um, north line, there we go, north arrow. Just going to accept the default. Stick that up there. I'm going to insert a key. Um, American word legend, habitat types, let's go change that to key. Again, I'm going to accept all the defaults for now for this. And of course you can go back and edit them if you need to at some point. So there we go, I'm just accepting the defaults. So it's you know, habitat types. So that's pretty straightforward so far. I'm going to insert scale bar. Again, I'm just going to pick the first one, which is meters. I can change those if I need to. So we're almost there with this. Um, one thing that I haven't added yet is the copyright information, um, which I would need to add before I export this map out as a PDF. Um, the other thing we can now do, of course, is because we've got the um, the summary statistics. Actually, there's quite an easy way to add these to a layout as well. Um, currently, I'm I'm in the um, layers or or sorry list by drawing order in the table of contents, so I can't actually see the table. Um, but if I flick over to the list by source, um, I get a slightly different view here, um, and I can see the table um, in this particular view. So I need to be in the um, list by source to be able to see this table. Um, and once I can see it, that means of course I can go and edit it and do things with it. Um, so quite an easy way to add table data to a layout view. So again, right click on the um, table itself and we go to open so we can open the table. And then if we go up here to table options, we've got an option down here to add table to layout. So I just simply click on that and just let me, let me um, close the table down and there we go so we've got the table um, but it literally adds the table exactly as you saw it um, here which you know generally is not particularly the way we'd like it to be displayed so so we can go through and we can make some changes to that to make it a little bit more friendly and a bit more um, useful as well so I'm going to just remove it temporarily by right clicking on it and then deleting the object. 
and I'm going to go and do a bit of work to kind of sort this out um, for a minute. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly open it up and have a look um, at what's going on here. Now there are a couple of columns that we probably don't really need to worry about here and certainly the object ID which is a, a column that is created by default by our map is, is something we don't want to be displayed because it just has no relevance to us. So we can actually hide columns temporarily so if again if I right click on the top um, I can say I can turn that field off temporarily. Um, habitat type, um, the frequency may be useful, maybe not, but not in this case. I think I'm going to remove that as well. So I'm going to just um, turn that field off as well. Um, and again, um, these titles here for each of these columns are just the titles that are automatically created by default. Again, which have got the underscore in them and are not particularly meaningful when we stick them in a layout. Um, so we can go and actually edit those. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. So for that we need to go to the properties of the table down here. And I'm going to go to the fields. So table properties and then fields. And then we can see the fields that are on display that are, that are visible, the ones with the ticks. And so I can click on that one and I can actually just go in here and edit this one. So I'm just going to edit that and just tidy up a little bit. And I'm going to just edit the um, last one here as well. So I'm going to just put the total area. I'm just going to put in brackets in hectares. I'm going to apply those changes. And I'm just going to quickly go back and see what's happened inside the table. I'm going to open the table again. Um, and there we go. So we can see. Um, if I just enlarge that one, we should get the rest there. Yeah. Habitat type has now changed to the more friendly version, and again, we've picked up that new alias in here as well. Um, so now, if we go and go up to table options and we add that layout to the table, or so we add that table to the layout view, we should now have picked up those new options. So we've got a much friendlier. Um, piece of information there. So it's telling us, you know, there's the summary information um, about all the different habitat types um, with those nice clear headings on it. And then really it's just a question of exporting that data out um, as a PDF. So it's just up to file um, and we're going to go to export the map. Um, Habitat PDF, I'm just going to save it temporarily to desktop and then I'm just going to save, save that map out. Um, and there we go, so we've got our completed map layout um, with all the relevant things, the um, key down here, scale, title, north arrow and also some statistical sort of summary of, of the information here as well. Um, the only thing that's missing is, as I said, the copyright information, which I haven't got yet, but it's something you'd make sure you put on your final maps.